So here's how the feast went. First hour, my friends Steve and Jackson were doing things that the others would have been great at. Let me explain. Jackson, who is a guitarist, was attempting to braid, while Steve, who last year was notorious for almost 24-7 touching his hair, was trying to play guitar. Second hour, I had gym, but it was basically a free hour, so I just spent the whole time playing ping pong. Third hour, I played trivia crack on Tyler's phone and made sure that I got some footage of Paige since she had been upset that she was barely in the project, so now she's in. Fourth hour was the only class where I really had to learn anything, and it was geometry, and we got homework. I mean, you're not supposed to give homework over holiday breaks. I thought that was just a common teacher-understood rule. Sixth hour was American Lit, which was just more trivia crack and discussions of massages. Because I've been told that I give good massages, but apparently, I mean, I was lied to that whole time. Seventh hour was Photoshop. All we had to do was sign a card for Joe Kane, and then Jacob and I just roamed around and pretended to be with the yearbook so I could take pictures and film whatever I wanted. Then we had an assembly for about an hour, and guess who was there? Bob, the past principal, but also Miss Referendum herself, Lolly Hawes. So she gave us a short little generic speech about our school, and off she ran. Bef conveniently before we did the pieing in the face. And actually when the student government president said, Okay, who do you want to see get pied in the face? I tried to start a chant with Tristan and Zach, and we all went, La Lee Huzz, La Lee Huzz. And the student government president yelled at us and said, You know, that's really not to what today is about, so could you just knock it off? I thought it was funny. One of the teachers went by, she was smirking. She thought it was funny. Then we had home group, uh, where we were informed that we came in 26th place, which is second to last. Good job. Well done, guys. And then I just had the feast, and to be honest, it went really, really fast. Like, one minute I was going downstairs to get some food, and the next minute I was leaving. Because my parents picked me up about an hour early, so we could drive for six hours to go celebrate Thanksgiving with my sister in Minnesota. Overall, not a bad day.